Hey everybody, Blue Trappage, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Last we left off, we, well, started exploring a dungeon as part of our first quest, I believe. It's been a while, so I'm a bit rusty. Yeah, we're searching for Spoink's Pearl, our first actual mission. So, and we got five floors in. So, we shall venture further, and I need to remember the controls because it has been way too long. Okay, yeah, getting the hang of it. So, oh. Yep. Oh, I forgot about Storm Drain. God damn it, Shellos. Okay. Uh, scratch you up. Hey, level eight. Learn Rage. A completely terrible move that I completely hate. <laughs> if I sound a little bit nasally, it's because I've got a cold or something, I don't know. Yeah, Rage, I might as well show it. Uh, in four. Gives you the enrage status, so it boosts your attack by one whenever you take damage. It's all right, but it's not really all that good. You know, there's other moves out there that can just raise your attacks like, without you needing to take damage, so it's a little bit lackluster, really. Oh well. I just want to find the end of this floor. It's probably over here, going down here. Yep, nailed it. Okay, I was talking about your partner and how they can assist you. You can check their IQ, see what they can do, and then, like, give them tactics like, let's go together, go after foes, or avoid the first hit so, you know, they don't get hit first. And luckily, we are done. Wow, I was only two floors off last episode. Who would have thought it? Oh, look at that. This must be Spike Pearl. Let's hurry back with it. Voice acting on point, as per usual. Oh god, I forgot about all the voices. <laughs> what did I give Spoink? I think I remember now. Th thank you. The poem must be propped on my head, you see. I missed it so much. I just couldn't settle down without it up here. So, I was just boinging and spoinging everywhere. That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps. But thanks to you, that's long nightmare is over. You have my sincere thanks. It was rewarded with a protein. That is a good item. A calcium. Another good item. An iron. Another good item. Two thousand Pokey coins. Whoo! <laughs> We're rich. Oh wow, two thousand p. All this money's for us. Of course, of course. That's nothing compared to my pearls value. Farewell. I don't know why I made Spong sound like she smokes fifty a day. We're rich, Trappage! We got rich just like that! We're done, team. Now, hand over the money if you please. What? Most of the money from jobs goes to the girl, must you see. And your team share the money comes out to this much. Huh? We only keep 200p? Wow. That is a really low cut. <laughs> that's awful. Well, that's the guild rules. You simply have to accept it. Aww. Everyone, thanks for waiting. Ah, I can't do that voice. Nah. Finish making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. I can't do Chameko's voice. Not a chance. Yeah! Chew, chew, munch, munch, shut up, stop, I'll slip. I love the eating of this game, it's hilarious. Ah, I'm done eating an excellent meal. I'm stuffed and now I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, I'm off to bed. Good night, gang. Good night. Moon in the sky. I've just realized a crucial error of mine. One moment, please. Okay, sorry about that. I realized the screens were flipped. Terribly sorry. It was the moon was meant to be in the top screen and it wasn't. My bad. That's the consistency, dead. Lovely. Anyway, pretend like you didn't see the first warp. Five minutes or so of this recording? Ah, whatever. Listen, Trapinch. Wasn't today hectic? So much happened. But I'm relieved that our first job was a success. 
It's really ups upsetting how Wigglytuff's skill took most of the money. That's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. I mean, we are apprentices, so I guess they should take a big cut, but that's a bit too much. That's like more than half by a mile. What made me really happy today, though, was getting to getting thanked by Spoink. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Good night, Trapinch. Chapter 3. The Scream. Next morning. Open Adam! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Trapinch. Don't save. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. And three smiles go for miles. Oh, you'll be hearing that until you die. Okay, Poke. No, wait, sorry. <coughs> okay, Pokemon. Time to get to work. Hooray! Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, you two. Still wandering around lost, it seems. Well, come with me. I mean, I know where I'm going. I I'm a veteran in this game. I've played it thousands of times. Spoiler alert, I know what's going to happen. Huh? Last time we did a job, it was on the board on the other side. Correct. Today you will have you do a job listed on this side. How's that different from both on the other side? Take a closer look. Oh, look, Trapinch. These are posts up here that show a variety of Pokemon. Oh, they all look pretty cool. Aren't they famous explorers? Who are these Pokemon, Shut up. The Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters, and they're all wanted for committing crimes. Oh no! They're outlaws! Correct! So there are bounties on their heads. In other words, there's a cash reward for if you capture one. There are so many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep up with the problem. Wait, so you're telling us to go out and catch these outlaws? You can't be serious, that's a battle! Hee hee! Just joking. The bad Pokemon out there come in all shades and badness. Some of the Pokemon are completely wicked through and through. But there are also bad Pokemon who are merely petty thieves. So you've got evil to naughty and everything in between. So I'm sure we can avoid giving you giving your job catching a super bad Pokemon. Hee hee! <laughs> I love his laugh. <laughs> oh. So look over these posters then. Pick a Pokemon that looks weak enough for you to bring to justice. Oh, you say some are weak, but they're also bad Pokemon, aren't they? I'm scared of the dangerous Pokemon. It's all part of your training. You'll work it. You'll work through it, I'm sure. But I suppose you do need to be prepared to confront a tough opponent. I can't read to save me goddamn life. So I'll have someone give you a tour of the facilities. Hey, Beedoof! Beedoof! Yep, yep. Oh, God. No, 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 this is going to be bad. I haven't done him yet. <laughs> You called? Ah, Beedoof. These are the new recruits that just joined us. Take them and show them around the town. Yes, sir. By golly, I'll do that. Yup, yup. <laughs> oh, that just give me a moment. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. It's so bad. This is Beedoof. He's one of your fellow apprentices. I want you to pay attention to what Beedoof has to say and follow his orders. Off you go. Oh, no. I'm going to try to do this. Dull. Oh, shucks, I'm overjoyed. Why is that? I'm glad to have members doing your to me. I'm almost overcome right now. I might just blubber with happiness. Before you all signed on, I was the most recent lucky. <laughs> My best attempt at a sniffle. Well, I better show you around. Come with me, please. I'm trying to make it sound like a country bumpkin, but... Nah, it's just making him sound like he's got a mental disability. Whoopsie, we'll just go with it. First things first. Here we have Krogunk. But to tell the truth, I don't have any idea what that Pokemon's up to. He always seems fiddling around with a big coat, big black. Yeah, big black, what? With that big cauldron back there. It's all a mystery to me. Yup, yup. Oh, that waste of mess all? We already know. We did eat last night. If you look over that way, you'll find the crew rooms. We've slept there, we know. And this, and this leads to the Guildmaster Chambers. We know, we signed up. 
Bit, bit redundant there, Bidoof. Thanks, I'll guide you both around the place outside the guild. Ah, oh, good for you, Bidoof. Good for you. The big wiggly tough head that'll haunt your nightmares. Ooh. Another song. I hear you can make a record of your adventure at the Warren Hall. You usually make a record of your adventure by going to your bed at the guild. Yup, yup. Seems you can make a record of your adventure over there too. By golly, it's a handy spot when you want to record your adventure frequently. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying the nostalgia way too much. And we're in Treasure Town. This is the main square for the local Pokemon. It's called Treasure Town. Said that. Yeah, called it. Oh, I can tell you about Treasure Town too. Oh, there is Dust Skull Bank. You can, we can save our money there. And over there is the Alexa Via Link Shop. That's where you can do things like link moves together. But it looks like Alexa Via isn't here today. And across the boundaries of space and time. Here we have Kickler Market. You can buy and sell items here. I'm making them sound Irish. God damn it. And there's Kangaskhan's storage. Items sold here will never be lost. I'm, no, I'm turning them Irish. Stop it. If you have precious items there that you can't afford to lose, store them here before you go on an adventure. And those are the basic places that exploration teams visit. I can't say exploration correctly. And that should do it. You sure know, know a lot. Yes siree. And that's good to know. Alright then, come find me when you're all ready to go. He says go a lot. I'll give you a helping hand with selecting the right outlaw for you. Thank you, Bidoof. You've been really nice. Good girl. You're embarrassing me. Ah, oh, shucks. I'll be waiting on the girls up, up, up on the ground floor for you. That's a head twister cheese. See you, Bidoof. Okay, let's go. See what kinds of items are available. Yeah, Keklan Market. Shut up! I want to go to the bank. Welcome to Dusko Bank. How may I help you? <laughs> uh, yep, I want to deposit all my money because I doubt we'll be buying anything today, let's be honest. We don't have the money for it. And a bit of extra, since um, Pikachu left it out. This is the Chansey Egg Place. I forget the name. Maybe it'll tell us. N nope. It's the Chansey Egg Place where um, later on the game you can get eggs. Give them to Chansey. She'll raise them. When they hatch, you have a new Pokemon. <laughs> Woo! Over here. Well, I'll let the sign do all the notice. Ugh, sorry. Something's written. Marowak's dojo has collapsed, but he'll rise in the rumble again. Yes, the dojo will be resurrected to his former glory. Marowak Dojo Sensei. I'm assuming that's the voice I'm gonna give Marowak, Marowak when we eventually meet him slash her, because I don't actually know who, what gender that Pokemon is. And um, this here is the Xatu box opening service. Later on, again, because it's all later on, you'll find boxes, take them to Exato, I think I, that's how you pronounce the name, and he'll open them, and you can find rare items. Ah, Kangaskhan, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bunch of random guys. Not important. Let's talk to the Kecklein brothers. Um, I mean, also, before we get into the opening, Green Kecklein, Green Kecklein, that sells stuff like, you know, apples. Um, Reviver Seeds, sort of basic essentials, food items. This purple one sells stuff like orbs, TMs, much more advanced stuff. The left is survival and the right is attack, I guess, if you want to put it that way. So we can get a roll call, sa sandy orb, sunny orb, changes all the weather and stuff like that. But they also sell TMs. Let's see what we can sell, actually. Um, don't want to sell them, because they're good. Sell the Geo Pebbles, I never use them. Um, don't want to sell all this because that's great. Oh, yeah. Defense, special attack, attack, and that's a heal seed. Don't want to heal seed. And yeah, that'll do for me. Thank you, Kecleon. You've given us money. Mrs. Kecleon. Ah, little Marilyn Azuril. Welcome, my young friends. Hello. May I buy an apple? Oh, I can't do high pitched. <laughs> Almost certainly. They bought an apple. 
Yay! Thank you, Mr. Skekleon! Oh, thank you, my young friends. You want to be admired? Their voice is going to change a lot, I can imagine. You see, those delightful children are brothers. Lately, their poor mother has fallen sick. So these... So those youngsters come and do the shopping for her. It's quite remarkable. Though very young, they've stepped up and taken charge. They're a lot more of a casual Irish, it seems. Mrs. Gagleon! Oh, what's the hurry? What makes you return in such a rush? The, there was an extra apple. We didn't pay for this many. Oh, excuse that voice. I really can't do it. Oh, yes. That, young friends, is a gift from me and my brother. Please share it amongst yourselves and do enjoy. Really? Yay! Thank you, Mr. Gagleon and Mr. Gagleon! <laughs> Gonna die! Oh, not to worry, my friends. Do take care on your way home. Yeah, they're Irish. Who cares? Youch! Just face plant on the floor. And they're like, the apple's mine. <laughs> Wait, we're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. <sighs> I handed over the apple. But then suddenly... Uh, what? What's that? The dizzy? Or I... What was that? I'm sure I heard a shout for help just now. Did that shout come from you? Uh, is something the matter? Hey, Azrael, what's going on? Over you. Yup, I'm coming. Wait up! <laughs> oh, <laughs> these characters are gonna kill me. Are you all right? Yep. We're doing that shopping. We're gonna look for our an item we've lost. Let's get going. Yup, I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> I used to like them characters, but now I'm gonna hate them because of the goddamn voices I do. Ha! <laughs> Those little guys are cute. Oh! What's the matter, Shappinch? Beep, beep, beep. Huh? Did I hear a shout for help just then? Um, no, I didn't hear anything like that. Hey, Gekalan Brothers, did you hear any strange just a moment ago? No, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anything odd either. Sounds like the Kekalem brothers didn't hear anything odd either. You must have imagined it, Trapinch. No, I'm positive I didn't imagine it. I definitely heard it. The shout I heard. Ha ha help! There's no mistaking it. That was Azrael's scream. Ah, uh, are you daydreaming? Let's move with Trapinch. And... We're not gonna look into that any further. If there was a scream for help. We're just gonna walk right on. Walk right on. Uh oh, hello. Oh, what's going on there? It's the Azrael brothers and Maril. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Please, it's nothing. That's the voice I'm giving a drowsy. Shut up. What's going on? Oh hi! Some time ago, we lost nine. That's pretty important to us. We've been looking all over, but we haven't found it yet. Damn, Mr. Drowsy! Oh no, wrong one! <laughs> and he says he's seen a lost item somewhere. He even offers to help us look for it. We're so happy about this. Yes, trust a strange Pokemon you've never met before and just will go along with him. God damn it, kids, don't talk to strangers. Yeah, that's great for you. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Drowsy! Oh, please. I have to have a cold heart to ignore kids in need. I can't turn a blind eye. Let us be on our way to begin our search. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Whoops. Excuse me. I'm called Dracula. Uh, what's this? That drive is such a nice Pokemon, isn't he? I'm impressed. With more and more bad Pokemon around, it's hard to do good deeds. We're getting this weird thing. It's happening again. Another dizzy spell? If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. <laughs> Help! What was that? It'd be nice if those little guys found the right soon. Ah, what's the matter, Trappinch? You're looking awfully grim. 
Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hmm? You want to tell me something? Black screen. I, I can't speak. What? You had a dizzy spell? You saw Azra being thrown by Drowsy? And you want to go rush with Azra right away? It's an emergency! Well, what you described does sound like an emergency, but... Well, it's not like I don't trust you, Trappage, but... I just can't believe it. After all, Drowsy seemed to be a sincerely nice Pokemon, didn't he? I watched all three of them go off earlier. They are like they were all having a good time, didn't they? You're probably just tired, Trappage. Maybe that's why you had an, that bad daydream. Yes, because I can remember vividly Drowsy being mean to a child I've never seen before. Ugh. Was that it? Just a bad daydream? We'll come to think of it. That Drowsy didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. Anyway, we're only apprentices. We can't just do whatever we want. Yes, we can. Sure, it's worrying, but we have to concentrate on our guild and work for now. Let's get ourselves ready to explore, then we should find Bidu. Bidu is supposed to be waiting. Yes, I've heard it. Let's go. I'm getting low on breath. Speaking of getting low on breath, we're low on time, so I'm going to... Can I? Yes, we can refresh the watering, watering hole. And with that, that'll be the end of the episode. So, thank you ever so much for watching. There should be a Binding of Isaac episode out soonish as well, because that's what's been taking up all my time recently. Sorry about that. And yeah. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends, I don't know. Just enjoy and see you next time. Goodbye.